Hello friends, this video on whole numbers part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we move on to the fourth property that is distributive property. Now the name suggests distribution. So in this property we will see that something gets distributed over different numbers. Now what is that distribution? Let us try to understand. So this distributive property states that if we have three whole numbers a, b, c then a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. So do you understand what is getting distributed? So when you have something like this, this a gets distributed to both b and c. That is why it is called distributive property. So a into b plus a into c. So that is why it is distributive property of multiplication over addition. So that is why it is called so. Now you might be thinking that why do we need such complicated property at all? Why do we need this distributive property? So let me give you a real life example. Let's say that you went to the shop, you did a lot of shopping, you bought nine water bottles and you also purchased nine pastries. Maybe you were planning to organize a party at your home. So you bought nine water bottles and you bought nine pastries. And the cost of each water bottle, each water bottle costed rupees 20 and each pastry costed rupees 10. So that, that was the cost of one pastry is 10 and one water bottle was 20. Now if I ask you what was your total bill? Now it is very easy because what so what are you going to do overall? Now cost of one bottle is 20 therefore cost of nine bottles would be 9 into 20 obviously. Cost of one pastry is 10 so cost of nine pastries would be 9 into 10. So the total bill or the total cost would be 9 into 20 plus 9 into 10. And then you multiply this, you multiply this and add the two. And that is how you arrive at the total bill. Now here I have taken smaller numbers, but sometimes these numbers might be complicated. Instead of 9 bottles, you might have purchased 91 bottles. Instead of the cost of one bottle being 20, the cost can be 29. So in that case, you will have to multiply 91 into 29, which will make things complicated. So what you can do here is you can make use of the distributive property. So you see here it is in the same format a into b plus a into c. So this can be very well written as 9 into 20 plus 10. Now don't you think that rather than making doing a big multiplication it is easier to do this sum. So you do this sum it is 30 and you find out the total amount to be 270. Now this distributive property basically makes calculations easier. So that is that in fact that is the use of all of these properties. Whether you talk about associative or commutative or distributive their purpose is to make calculations easier. So when you have bigger calculations with complicated whole numbers your calculations will become easier. So distributive property can actually make calculations really, really simple. So let's just look at another example. Let's say that the cost of one book is rupees 21. And if you are asked to find out the cost for 52 books, so what would be the cost for 52 books? How would you find that out? Now, quite simple that the cost of one book is rupees 21. Therefore, the cost of 52 books will definitely be 52 into 21. That would be the cost. Now, doing this multiplication can be tedious task. So, what do we do? We try to make use of distributive property. This 52 can be written as 50 plus 2. You put it in bracket multiplied by 21. So, now what do you have? So you have it in the format of distributive property. Remember the format of distributive property. If you write it like this, this is same as distributive property A into B plus C. So this can be written as 21 into 50 
plus 21 into 2. Now doing this multiplication was tougher than doing this multiplication because here you have zeros. So it is pretty simple to do this multiplication. And now you can very easily calculate the cost of 52 books. So you see making use of the distributive property you could make your calculations little simpler and easier. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.